What up, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. I thought I would throw it back like the old days. I'm out here in the freezing cold in the garage. Like I've said in my other videos, the main reason I go out in, the, out in the garage is my two boys are sleeping in the house and I'm always way too loud with the guitar. Today here in Raleigh, North Carolina, we had eight inches of snow. It's crazy. In Raleigh, you don't get eight inches of snow, much less in December. Um, so it's been high on the tables and outside chairs, freezing cold outside today, freezing cold out here in the garage. But I thought, you know what? You gotta be dedicated. I should have come out in a sleeveless or something, right? This song, like the, I actually heard Luke Combs sing this. And it took me back to old high school days when uh, Brooks and Dunn. So So the cool thing about this song, it's going to use three chords, verses, and chorus. We're not even going to throw that, that E minor. So this is a great first song to learn. Uh, so your three chords are going to be locking the two bottom strings of the third fret, fifth and sixth. All six down at your G. Move the two fingers, top two fingers down to the fourth and fifth. Bottom five, that's a C. And then the third string, second fret, bottom four, that's your D. If you're new to my lessons, or you can type in Matt McQuid first chord, first four chords. Let's start learning that chorus. And again, if you're just starting out, just do those down strums, because you really want to get that timing down. I saw the light, I've been baptized by the fire you touch and the flame in your eyes. Born in love again, I'm a brand new man. You see, I just, uh, if I go... A little bit out of tune there. Uh, so if you're starting out, this is a great song to learn. But like I said, you want to work on getting those chords real clear. A lot of times people will tell me that the, the, the chord sounds a little bit like the strings are a little off, but they don't sound real clear. This is a great song to learn on because you can do, you can play your chords and just do kind of a slow down strum and make sure every sound is clear. So start with that G. I mean, that's C. I saw the light of a D. Baptized by the G. Fire in your touch in the C. Flame in your eyes. Born to love a D. Kid, I'm a brand new thing. I did that. Dun, dun, so. And then that uh, uh, verse is going to be. Well, the me. Let's start with G. Where the whole town's talking about the sea line I'm walking. G. He's right to your door. How I used to be wrong. I was a rolling stone. C. G. Then you repeat that. Yeah, I used to have a world sign. They said I'd be my way. I'm burning. I used to have a world sign. What's the strumming pattern? And I go back and I say strumming is about timing. But I'm still going to try to get a little better in 2019 of giving you somewhat of an idea. Because also I read, I'll read every comment you guys give me. So by the way, if you leave a comment, trust me, I get it. Um, speaking of which, I'll tell you a video that's been killing it for me. I did, In Thanksgiving, I did that video, like a six, six note solo technique. In that one video, like in like just a week or so, got like 50,000 hits and ton, hundreds of comments and stuff. It's been crazy. So thank you guys for that support. When, they, when those videos kind of go viral, so to speak, like that, it drives the revenue up, the traffic up, the subscribers up, the watch time in it. So that's just huge. So I owe you guys for that one if you've supported me on that one. I'm going to try to do more guitar lessons. <laughs> Try to get more of that. Back to the lesson. Sorry, I got a little off, a little off subject there. Um, so, so down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. 
You want to keep that timing, but down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up. Switch that. I got a whole staff. I got 50 people over here video, uh, 20 uh, hair and makeup, 30 editing. That's my staff. So you all editing, make sure you cut that out. <laughs> I'm typing Matt McCoy Sweet Home Alabama. You're going to know how to play that. That's a good little play. So learn your first three chords. Another people always ask me, like, well, what's a great song to learn for your first song? Travis Tritt, "I'm Gonna Be Somebody," uh, is a great one because he uses those four chords. Um. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days, I'm gonna break these chains. I'm gonna be somebody. Something that you might have done. Keith Whitley. Smile on your face. Let's be know that you need me. That's a great one. Uh, when you say nothing at all, that's just G, D, C, D. Smile on your face. Let's be know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes. Seeing you never leave me. Touch of your hand says you catch me. I say it my life, say it all the rest of my wife. You say it best when you wear nothing at all. Anyway, who was it? Uh, uh, I saw Brad Paisley or somebody in concert that sang it like that. I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, the video's getting a little long. Let me cut it off here, guys. Hey, leave a comment. What song? Um, leave a comment. Some song in the 90s you want me to teach for this Thursday for Throwback Thursday. Like, like I, I was born in 1980, so my... Kind of the meat of my country music was in the 90s. Uh, Travis Tritt, Randy Travis, Garth Brooks, uh, Clint Black, Vince Gill, Tanya Tucker, even McIntyre, Patty Loveless, all those. Uh, so leave a song. What song in the 90s? You want to... I just talked this one. Off that one. That, that's just D minor C G the whole song. Hard and I work all day and work hard living on you. Spin you around and I too cold anyway thank you guys so much subscribe give a thumbs up we'll keep having fun that's what it's all about guys make sure no matter how much you're practicing how little you have fun life you gotta have fun with this instrument god bless you